What do you envision? Resting above my body. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Tell me more. What does the higher self want to tell Goldie today? Advice. Advice. Very good. So what advice would you like to give her before we start the questions? One moment, bringing energy through. Thank you. Connection made. Thank you. What part of their body are you connecting with? Heart. Her heart. Why is it that you connect with the heart? Down through pineal, through throat chakra to heart. Very good. Very good. So as her higher self, my question is, why did you bring her here today? What was the importance of this meeting? Make the uh, time to make the connection. Mm -hmm. What's going on right now that's so important for this connection to be made? Decisions. Decisions. Mm -hmm. What kind of decisions does she need to make at this time? Life decisions, ascension decisions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, before we go on, she wanted to know about you in particular, her higher self. Do you have a particular name that you go by? How can she call you? Ram Thusa. Ram? Ram Thusa. Thusa. Mm hmm. And are you from the eighth dimension? Eighth dimensional level, as she says. I am eighth dimensional. Okay, good. Is there anything else that you can tell her about yourself? Sending her messages. Mm -hmm. Assisting her to come back. Okay. Now, do you have any advice on how she can receive messages better. She wants to become clairaudient. What's holding her back? more than one thing. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the main thing that's holding her back? He wants to talk about the stone. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about the stone? The stone I'm wearing around my neck. Mm -hmm. 
What does that stone do for her? It's connected to the Syrians. Mm -hmm. Tending to tie me to them. I am not Syrian. Mm -hmm. So what is the purpose of her connecting at this time with them? Stone will assist in communicating with them, uh, those ones, aboard craft. Mm -hmm. They have marked me. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? To use in the coming times for mm -hmm. meeting and communication, mm -hmm. enlightenment, upliftment. Mm -hmm. But we get back to the original question. She wants to be more, more clairaudient. Is she needing to do this through stones? Can she not connect directly through her third eye or her heart? She uses pendulum. Okay. Is that good enough for her? Not enough. Mm -hmm. Remove the implants. Mm -hmm. Turn them off. Okay. Who we'll put those implants in there? Archon. Archon. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? Control. Control. What assistance can we get today to re deactivate those implants? Say again. What assistance can we receive today in deactivating that, those implants? Can the higher self do that? Uh, making uh, a communication line more possible. Mm -hmm. uh, he's saying, I am with you always. Mm -hmm. Desiring direct communication. Okay, very good. Well, she told me that there are ETs around her, and they've told her that she has these implants, and they need to, need to be deactivated. Who can deactivate these implants today? He will assist you to do that. Very good. So will you guide me? in the removal or deactivation of these implants? Go ahead. Very good. Is it possible for me to use my hand alone or should I use one of my stones? Stone. Very good. Should I use the quartz or the shungite? Shungite. Very good. That's what I thought. So would you tell me where the first implant is? High heart. All right. So I'm going to put my hand over her high heart. And I'd like for you to go ahead and begin the deactivation.
and if the higher self can tell me at what what level we are right now of deactivation it would be very helpful Yeah, it was up to seven. Mm-hmm. How far do we need to go? Eight. Very good. I'm feeling it through my back. Mm-hmm. Is it being pulled through? Mm-hmm. Very good. Stones are vibrating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they put that there for mm-hmm. keeping my heart chakra from um, growing, expanding. Mm-hmm. Keeping me small. Keeping me in control. Okay. Very good. Thank you. I think the stone is vibrating on its own now. So I'm going to switch stones and tell me which is the other one that we need to work on now. Uh, Navel. Very good. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hand over the navel area and tell me. Mm. If I have it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just above the belly button. Mm-hmm. Let me know if I'm in the right place. Um. Feel the energy. This one for causing disease. Mm-hmm. Dis ease. Shorten life. Recycle through bodies. Affects solar plexus. Mm-hmm. Confuses thought. Enables slave type state. Mm-hmm. Tell me what level we're at now. Five. Mm-hmm. Very good. Right now, before. Mm-hmm. Why is that? It's designed to keep me in four. Ah.
I could feel the energy going right through my arm and right up into the sky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're at seven now. Very good. Seems to be getting stronger. Mm-hmm. Promote healing if we remove this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let's switch stones again, as that one seems a little bit powered up. What do we want to do now? They run across my pelvis, mm-hmm. sacral. Mm-hmm. Let me know if I'm in the right space. This one is for emotional lessons and control. Mm-hmm. And let me know when I have the right spot as I move it across. center. What level are we at right now? This is three. This is strictly a, a physical mm-hmm. meat body. What is the purpose of this one? This one is to control through emotions, through, through the uh, sex and reproductive. Mm-hmm. Use this one in this lifetime for uh, lessons in emotion. Teaching to develop the right brain. Mm -hmm. Not needed. Put in there to hasten the lesson. Mm -hmm. Does she bring these implants with her in this incarnation, or did she have them before? And did she have them before, or were they from this life? Uh, had them before. Mm-hmm. So she came in with these. Yes. Mm-hmm. Don't need them now. Mm-hmm. And let me know when we're done with this one.
Yeah, seven. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think that's done. Very good. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and now that these implants are deactivated, how do you see her life changing now? Less holding her back. Mm-hmm. What's the next step for her growth? To join me, join with me. Mm-hmm. What has been keeping her from joining with you all this time? had to finish the lessons. Mm -hmm. Why so many of them? Very harsh. She didn't want to do all of them. Mm -hmm. Did she choose to be here in this lifetime? No. Mm -hmm. So who, who is the one who decided for her to be here? Turned around by the Archons. Ah. Can you tell me more about that? They were going to use her. Mm -hmm. Use and abuse. Mm -hmm. How long have they been using her? Several thousand years. Mm -hmm. So what's the reason that now, finally, in this lifetime, she's able to disconnect from them. Ascension. Mm -hmm. Time to go home. Okay. She wants to know a little bit about this ascension. What, she, what is she going to experience or see during her own ascension? How to be connected, how to communicate. Mm hmm can you give her more specifics? She already asked if she, how she could become more clear audience. Is this part of that? This connection? Yes. Mm hmm so, are these, during this ascension, will she be able to just know things? Know and talk. Know and talk. Is this telepathically? Yes. Mm -hmm. And who will she be connecting to and talking with? Those three who want to work with her. Okay. Who are those three, please? The female and the two males. Mm -hmm. Do they have names? Female, mm -hmm. Quinn, Quinn, mm -hmm. Borg, Borg, mm -hmm. Is that the male? Yeah, one of them. Mm -hmm. Rog, Rog, mm -hmm. Are they part of her family? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now she says that they, they, they sent her in. They sent her in. Okay. These are the three? Yes. They were part of the group mm -hmm. to experiment here and learn. Mm -hmm. So are these ones that are benefiting her? By sending her here? Or were they using her? Agreed upon. It was agreed upon. So they had some sort of contract? Yes. Okay. 
Now, what message do they have for her? They will be making connection. Mm -hmm. Working with my guide. Oversoul. He's an oversoul. He's an oversoul. Which one? Higher self. The higher self. Mm -hmm. Their higher self also. Mm -hmm. So they'll be working together, these mm -hmm. oversouls? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this during the ascension? Is this the whole idea? Or for her life in general? Mm. She's going to take a left turn. Hmm. What does that mean? She might be taken aboard craft. Mm -hmm. So what is she going to be assisting with? Bringing information home. Mm -hmm. Assimilating. Expanding. Mm -hmm. Now, where is this home? She wants to know her home planet and its people, what its name is. Milik. Milik. Predate the Pleiadian. Mm -hmm. White, so white. White hair, white skin. Mm -hmm. Tall. Ready to ascend. They are. They're they waiting. are. Yeah, they're waiting on me. Mm -hmm. So is she bringing the information of the ascension of Earth back to Miluk? Yes. Okay, good. So she needs to be the, she was the pioneer sent here? Yes. Is it kind of like she's a, kind of like a scout? Yes. Mm -hmm. Reincarnate. Okay. So when she is in her dream state, does she go back to Miluk? No. No. They don't want her. Why is that? She's too polluted. Mm, I see. She will work with her spiritual family. Work with me. Mm -hmm. Now you had named these three. Are they her spiritual family or are there more? They are part of mm -hmm. a larger group. They are assigned to her, mm -hmm. working with her, want to continue to do so. Mm -hmm. We are one. Yes. Is this when the ascension is to be? Ascension now to the 2024. Mm -hmm. From now to 2024? Yes. Mm -hmm. So is it going to happen in small phases? Some will jump. Mm -hmm. She will remain, continue to work, take her time. Okay. And when you say some will jump, can you describe what that means? Yes, some will jump spiritually. Mm -hmm. Some will leave their body. Some will make a leap, spiritually, dimensionally. Mm -hmm. 
Some have already done so. Hmm. So in this ascension, do we have a physical body? Those who choose to stay with their meat body can do so. Okay. And where do we go when we ascend? Wherever you can. Hmm. Some will stay in third. Some will battle it out in four. Some will go on to fifth, mm -hmm. sixth. You go where you are guided, your guide tells you. Mm -hmm. In these other dimensions, are there earths there, like this one? No. No. Much more peaceful, mm -hmm. growth is much slower. Takes longer lessons, mm -hmm. longer, much longer. Here is very intense. Because many people wonder if they're going to have to die in order to ascend. Some will. Yes. Okay. Some are ready. Mm -hmm. All those will go where they are supposed to go. Okay. Is there anything for us to do to prepare for this ascension? Go within. Mm. Is that where the meditation comes in? Yes, you have to open your heart. You cannot get balanced without opening your heart. Mm -hmm. And when you open your heart, what does that do for you? Makes you vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Makes you wise. Makes you accept. Mm -hmm. Makes you let it be. makes you whole. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're guarded, your heart is closed? Usually, yes. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that we can gauge how open our heart is? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. What's the best way? You can feel it. Mm -hmm. Look at your responses. Look at how you handle your life. Look at how you deal with others. Look at how well you've loved. Mm. When you get done with your body, that is your only question that you must answer. How well have I loved? Mm. You know that. Only you know that. Mm -hmm. Others can feel your heart, but only you know. Now what about mistakes from the past? Deal. Deal with them. Mm -hmm. Look at them. Handle them. Mm -hmm. Handle the misemotion. Forgive yourself. So is that why forgiveness is so important, to be able to let go of these things from mm -hmm. the past? Yeah, you mm -hmm. have to. Mm -hmm. So for those who are right now facing ascension, facing the question, how well have I loved? If we focus on our heart now, will that allow us to ascend? If we open our heart now. Sometimes you need to stay. Hmm. Sometimes you don't need to ascend. You need to stay and do more work. Okay. So yes, open your heart, mm -hmm. and your heart will tell you. Good. How is Goldie's heart? She opened her heart with Junvalo. Mm. Wide open. So that was a good experience for her? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Who guided her to that experience? Jernvalo. Mm -hmm. He himself? Yes, although he's not aware of it. Mm -hmm. He invited me to the second lesson. 
my guide work with him. He offered a second lesson for us. Forty-two. We went. Mm -hmm. We got a special lesson from him. Such a beautiful being. No one appreciates him around him. He has those around him who are sucking off of him. And he doesn't know what to do. He's okay, though. He's okay. He's from the eighth. He's still connected. Mm -hmm. Going back soon. So we need to appreciate him before he leaves. Or not. They have their own lessons. Yeah. He's not being harmed. He just could have done better. Whatever, you know, that's mm. it. That's mm -hmm. life. Could her higher self comment on her next lifetime as she chooses it? We will guide her. She sees only meat body. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Is that what she wants? No, she wants to be on seven. Mm -hmm. Can we make can we make an intention, set an intention to be on a certain level, or does that come in a different she, way? Yeah, she's already there. She's already intending. Mm -hmm. She's there in her sleep state. Ah. She just has memories of third dimensional connections, mm -hmm. love there, unresolved. Unresolved love. Mm -hmm. What's going on with all these babies that she sees in her dreams? What's all that about? Babies are love. Ah. So why is she seeing so many thousands of babies in her dreams? All unresolved love connections. Mm. Is that so, why she doesn't want them? She has so many. Mm. Why is that? Everything she seemed to not handle. She didn't handle, left them all, left them all unhandled. Mm -hmm. They're handled now. They're getting handled. Okay. Yes. Is there anything that we need to resolve with that today in the session? Does she need to forgive herself for this? Yes. Oh, right. She had children to make love connections. Mm -hmm. So would you allow me to do this forgiveness ritual so that she can release this? Yes. Very good. So I'm going to put my heart, my hand over your heart, and I want you to go ahead and begin pulling out all of those, that guilt feeling that you had, shame, unresolved issues, things where you could have done things better. Go through all of that and pull out from every cell, every bit of your DNA, all of this that you've been stuffing in there, not resolving them, feeling shameful about them, knowing you could have done better. Let's pull them out now. Because even when you have a bad stomach ache, at the end we flush it. And we need to flush this out of your system. Tell me when I have it all. You got it. Let's take that and send it to the universe for healing. And now, what would we like to put in its place? Clean heart chakra. Let's put that in. I'm going to have my put my hand over here. And let's fill that with light. Let's clean that heart chakra up. 
Feel the movement. As we fill that heart chakra. Yes. Very mm. good. Are we complete with that? Yes. Thank you so much. So now, she wants to know a little bit about what's going on with friendships, associations. Can you give her some details about people she'll be connecting with in the future? She has choice. Mm -hmm. She can stay in her house. Or she can choose. But there is no connection there. Mm -hmm. She's kind of isolating herself, isn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's poor. No resource. Now we were talking before this session about a group of women that are getting together at the end of February. Would this be a good fit for her? A place where she can meet others? She'll meet one there. Okay, very good. That one Need another one, and on to a third. Mm -hmm. Make connection. Good. Are these groups of women that are coming together, this spiritual community, is this something part of the ascension, part of the plan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. They are holding space. Good. Very good. So she talks about her future. Anything else that you would like to tell her about her future? I think she wanted more specifics. Future depends on whether or not her body lives. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who makes that decision? Right now they do. Ah. Who's they? Those ones who came in. Those ETs came without permission. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about those, please? They invaded interlopers, came to experiment, got caught up, can't leave. Now there is quarantine. Mm -hmm. And so they have learned also. They have learned to work with me and her. Mm -hmm. But they don't like it. Are they causing her any harm? They were. Mm -hmm. Too bad, so sad, they're here now. <laughs> so what now? Now their role is changing, and they are changing, and they have learned from their association. Some have gone to the positive side. Mm -hmm. and they have ejected one who is negative amongst them. Where did they eject them to? If there's they a quarantine. Him, yes, they put him in prison. Ah, okay. And now, I'm their girl. Mm. Now these ETs, are they physical? Yes, they are fifth dimensional. Fifth dimensional. So what happens with them now in her life? They want to release, but their contract is to stay. Mm -hmm. They are 
scientists under contract. Mm -hmm. They do not have say. They must abide by their own agreements amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't like it. I can't help them. They came in without permission. How many scientists are we talking about? Sixty. Sixty. Are they in one place or are they everywhere? They are aboard craft. Aboard a craft. When did this quarantine begin? They, this quarantine began here with the wars mm -hmm. that are going on now. It uh, began basically in the early 90s mm -hmm. when they began shutting down the ability of the Dracos and Archons to go in and out. Mm -hmm. And so Others were caught in the net. Mm -hmm. Some were good, some were not. So where do we stand now as far as this war is concerned, the spiritual war? Not spiritual. They are shooting each other. They're shooting each other. Well, intergalactic <laughs> war, yeah, should that's I say. Correct. Yes, yes, they are. It's very, very real. Mm -hmm. At that level, they are, shoot they are actually fighting at three different levels, four, five, and six. Mm. We, of course, of the light, we are here holding it, mm -hmm. and they are thrashing around because they can't get back home, they can't get reinforcements, they can't get weapons, they can't get help. Mm -hmm. So we are rounding them up. What do you do with them when you round them up? Where do they go? Not en masse. It depends. Hmm. You save them one at a time. I see. Some choose to <coughs> leave their body. Mm -hmm. Some choose to live out <coughs> on prison planet. Mm -hmm. Some choose to volunteer to come into third. Mm -hmm. <coughs> What's going on with her throat? What's holding her throat? <coughs> oh. What is that? Mm. What's keeping her from talking? Oh, let me see. Let's find out if anybody's taking a hold of her throat. Yes. Who is that? One of the ETs they mm. impinge. They like to stay by because they want to be connected. Mm -hmm. So why is this ET messing with her throat? He stays by me and he's a lord ass. Mm. He stays too close. Does he need to be by her? Yes, he mm. has equipment in her he has to monitor. Okay, what is this equipment that he has in her? Uh, Bionic, Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's got equipment to run her heart, mm -hmm. equipment for her digestion. He's got implants in her brain. There's four implants in her brain. Mm -hmm. They're running artificial heart to keep my body going. Mm -hmm. Now they're putting in more equipment, instruments for my digestion, making the body stay. So Goldie is really a bionic woman? In a sense, yes. Mm -hmm. They are trying to keep the body alive. Okay. Only way they know how. Hmm. Did she agree to this? She did not agree to them coming in, but as her heart failed, and they began working on it so they could keep their own experiment going. And so it fed upon each other. Mm -hmm. So now they must stay or her body will fail. Okay. How many of these ETs are with her, working on her? 
the two groups, and they send in their minions, and one takes, they take turns. Mm -hmm. And then they have divided in half, and then they each half has a turn. Hmm. So, who are the minions that you talk about? The ones that run them are seventh, and the minions are in fifth. Ah, okay. And these ETs, are they around her all the time? They must be, or she'll die. Okay. So they're here today? Yes. Okay. Do they have a message that they'd like to say? A saying, we will save you. Mm -hmm. To Goldie. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Where are these ETs from, the ones that are with her? Are they different? Oh, yes, they are different. Some are reptilian. Mm -hmm. Some are humanoid. Mm -hmm. Some are... One is, uh, what's it called? AI. Hmm. Huh. Robotic. Robotic? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But sentient. Spiritual being can get in robotic body. They don't know that yet. Huh. But you can ask Cryon. That's mm. who he is. That's who he is? Mm -hmm. He's like an AI? He is a spiritual being who is in mechanical, high-tech, very high-tech mechanical, but mechanical body nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful being he is. Mm -hmm. Would you, wouldn't you consider all humans kind of like a mechanical body? No, we no? are. We are living, living matter. Okay. Anything else that they would like to tell her at this time? Any other messages mm. about her health, her heart? They have done the last of the changes that they are going to do, mm -hmm. and now they are hoping that I will graduate and not need them. Hmm. I have a question about the health of our bodies. When we ask for healing of our bodies, do our bodies actually heal, or is there sometimes ET intervention? or spiritual intervention? It can be that you are a spiritual being, you are senior, mm -hmm. your intention brings about the type of healing that you engage in. So if you know only mechanic, only physical level, that's what you get. Mm. If you ask for spiritual line healing, you get directly from your higher self through to source, you get what you call a miracle. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the person doing the asking. Okay. So if the person asks for ET assistance, do some surgery on them, for example? You must be very careful. Mm. Or you will find yourself in a trap. Ah. As she is now. Mm -hmm. Not a bad trap, but still. She worked with them for years, many years, to rid of the negative ones. And now only two positive ones are left. Mm -hmm. These are the ETs you're talking yeah. about? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
And they and their minions now are the only ones. The rest are gone. Mm -hmm. Now she spoke about a lifetime, a long time ago, when she did a request, when she was an alchemist, and she brought something in. Has that influence followed her into this lifetime? They follow her every lifetime. Mm -hmm. What is that influence doing to her? That was evil. Mm -hmm. Connected her directly to the Archons. Very, very foolish. Is that what these implants were all about? Yes. Mm -hmm. So have we deactivated this influence now? Have we closed that off? Yes. Very good. Very good. So we did quite a big job today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now okay. that we are no longer being recycled, mm -hmm. we have a choice. Mm -hmm. you know? All those who return to spirit after 2013 now have choice for the first time. What can we ask to go to? Ah, oh. has to go anywhere now. Mm -hmm. First time in 360,000 years. So after 2013, there's no reincarnation? Don't have to. Mm -hmm. Now you can grow. Mm -hmm. Go wherever you like. Do what you want. Mm -hmm. Be with your higher self, your over soul. Have fun. Be around the universe. No longer trapped. Mm -hmm. That's why we worked our asses off. Now, there are many, many, many spirits that seem to be still attached to people, to places. Why are they not going? Why are they still attached here? Unfinished lesson. Mm. But ascension will change all of that. It's changing now. Mm -hmm. What's happening now with these spirits? Ties are being broken. Mm -hmm. All of the mass is being removed. Everything that held back is going. All removed. What does that mean for us humans living here? It means enlightenment. Mm -hmm. It means freedom. We can be who we need to be? Yeah. <clears throat> who take, we are? Yes, take your responsibility and you can do it. Mm -hmm. And those that are still trapped here? Mm, they have a choice. They can live out. They will mm -hmm. live out if they cannot see, mm -hmm. cannot perceive, cannot engage, cannot become enlightened. And then they will stay in the meat body mm. and do what they do. And then they will learn a longer lesson. That's all. Is there any way that we can release these spirits, send them back to the light oh, on our own. There you can, but you, they are being released, whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. They are being released every, every day. All are being sorted. This is ascension. Mm -hmm. We are doing it. Even those ones who were lined up to come in, 70 billion Seven o billion waiting to come in to Earth. As these babies? No, they're beings and they're waiting and they're not going to come in now. Ah. They will have to go and find their own planet and their own story hmm. and their own history and let them create for themselves because Earth, Mother Earth is going to rest. So basically, the doors are closed? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why 70 billion? Well, they were just interested bodies, that's mm -hmm. all. They wanted to learn. They wanted this intense lesson here. Mm -hmm. They had no idea. They had no idea how hard it is. Mm -hmm. So those of us that are in the closed earth right now, 
Yes, you have a choice now. You will live out. You will live your life. You will make your choice. You will do your leap, or you're not. Mm -hmm. But this is it. Final chapter. All right. So between now and 2024, you say? The uh, main part, 2036, is would be the final closing of the door. Mm -hmm. Mostly, most changes now mm -hmm. to 2024. Okay. Good. Anything else that you would like to describe about this ascension that would help me, help others, help Goldie, finalize our plans, our choices? Your choices are made. Hmm. Very little wiggle room now. Mm -hmm. Continue your path. You have, you, you have a door opening in front of you. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? Yes. You're stepping into the stars. I see you stepping into the stars. What does that mean? Mm. Nothing under your feet. It's your ass in your face and you're out there. <laughs> yeah, you're going through a door. Does this door include a body? <laughs> it includes whatever you want. Okay. But you have a big change. Mm. Enlightenment with an E. Oh, yes. Mm, very nice. Thank you for that. Mm. Anything else that you can say to assist on my mission, anyway? I'm going to coalesce. What does that mean? There's going to be a great gathering, perhaps in the Sedona area, perhaps in the Phoenix area, mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a gathering, a whole coalescence. Mm -hmm. Perhaps some by computer, some physically, some spiritually, some etherically. There's going to be a whole gathering. I see like a whole city forming. The various levels, multi-dimensional, coming together by 2024. Everyone will know each other. No secrets. Hmm. Very nice. Sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place. Yes, indeedy. Heart to heart. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll need good shoes for that one. Mm-hmm. Be careful of the cactus. Okay. Anything else that you would like to tell Goldie here today? Something I haven't asked that you would like to tell her? Please give her a suggestion. Mm-hmm. She wants clear audience. Yes. Very good. Are we complete? Yes. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the Higher Self, all the ETs, and all of those angels and my guides who have assisted here today. Thank you very much for all of your assistance. And now, Goldie, I'd like for you to encapsulate yourself into that beautiful cocoon of golden light, tethering yourself back to Mother Earth, visualizing you connected with a cord directly to source coming from your head and from your feet to Mother Earth, making this connection. And as you visualize this connection, I want you to feel as if you were connected to the powerful Internet of Life. See that connection in your mind's eye as you receive information from the universe, crossing dimensions, 
crossing galaxies, being able to access this information at will. It's like having your own password. And yet around you is this golden cocoon. It's like an antivirus keeping you safe from all of those that have information that's not meant to be part of your reality. And as you connect your feet to Mother Earth, knowing that it's like a root of a tree, and roots of the trees connect to each other and they communicate with each other, able to sense and feel what others feel. And as you enroot yourself to Mother Earth, you will be connecting with all of those souls, all of those others that are around you, opening up this beautiful connection. And as you use yourself as the conduit between the heavens and the earth, allowing yourself to open up more and more, use this visualization to connect yourself to all of that information that is flowing at all times. See yourself now, opening up the pictures in your mind, opening up that third eye, allowing this information to flow through you, knowing that you are a spiritual being. You are meant to connect with others, and this is innate in you. Connect to the heaven and the earth, and you will see everything you need to see, feel everything you need to see, using your breath to bring it through and bring it to life. Welcome back. Thank you. You did great, my gosh. <laughs> How do you, how's your body feel? Energized. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that was a lot that went on here today. Oh, yeah, my toes are tingling. So let me, let me uh, replace that selenite with this shungi to ground you. Because you were flying high. Yeah. And your higher self had a lot of information. What do you think about this session? Oh, I'm telling you. I have this. This is a. This is a Sintamani star. Mm. So. Yeah. Well. You had oh. a lot of information there. Yeah. This is a. Eye opener. Goodness. Yeah. Where did you get this? The selenite. <laughs> the chungai. Uh -huh. I think I picked that up in a store. Did you? I picked it up and I felt the vibration. Uh, yeah, I can feel it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. So, is this something that you want to share with others? You feel that this information could help others? Uh, Removing personal information. Uh, yeah, of yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> Removing personal mm -hmm. and yes. Because there's a lot of information about the ascension in there. Uh huh. Yeah, that would be okay. And we could talk about what what personal information we can we'll take out. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, it would be okay. I didn't say anything that would be no. Um, no. too startling for anybody to hear, <laughs> especially the people who watch this. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that so, would be okay. How was the session for you? Um, well, it was um, a little different than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, again, I wasn't sure, yeah. you know, but I'm, I was willing to go with whatever yeah. came up. Now, when you up. came here, you said, I don't think I could be hypnotized. Right. What about now? I don't know, was I? <laughs> <laughs> um, it seemed like I was under in some fashion. You're a different trance. You're in a trance. Yes. An altered in, state. Yes, in some fashion. That's quite right. Yes. Altered state would be correct. Yeah, and when people are, are you know, are afraid of hypnosis, they think they're going to be out of control. They think, well, yeah. did you feel like you were in control? Oh, yeah. 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 No, there was no out of control about it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It, and how did it feel? We did, a lot, um, we did some different work there than I usually do. Uh-huh. He, uh, the... Energy was yeah. indeed right at my 13th chakra. Yeah. And then it came down and uh, basically was in my heart. Yeah. And um, I didn't feel separate like he says this and I think that. Yes. It wasn't. It's like one? Yeah. It mm -hmm. was more like, okay, I got that. And then, then 
I would say whatever I said. Kind of li like a little download? Yes, mm -hmm. kind of like that. So now you know how to connect much easier. Now yeah, you understand. I, I hope to repeat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you see the difference between your logical mind and your higher self? Oh, yeah. Big yeah. difference, right? Yes, yes, that's correct. The that's logical right. mind is the one that's always that's, telling you you can't uh -huh. do anything. That's this side. That's yes, your, exactly. That's your reasoning, and it's wonderful, but sometimes you need to use that side too. <laughs> <laughs> but the other one is kind of coming from your gut. Well, you have your solar plexus, yes. which is connected to mm -hmm. the reasoning, and then you have your heart, which is connected to your mm -hmm. emotional. Yes. So what you need to do is have them in balance. And that came out a lot. We need to balance Mm -hmm. ourselves and we need to open up our heart mm -hmm. so everybody the, the wonderful thing about this session is everybody's always asking about the ascension what do I need to do to prepare for the ascension and mm -hmm. really you had the answer right there yeah you must be in your heart you open that to, heart you have to be heart-based mm -hmm. which yeah. means loving kind yeah, yeah. Compassion, open compassionate open opener. for people yeah. how do you respond how you respond is uh, directly directly related to your level of growth mm. and the degree to which you are heart-based. So yes, if you are in the moment yeah. and um, you are heart-based, you really have no problem. You will respond appropriately. Yeah, but if you have barricades and uh, you, you get short with people... Then you need to be doing your work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we all need to work on that. Yeah, <laughs> that is that is a lesson through your whole life. Right, right. And the, the more you can chill and be patient with people, you're opening up more. You're, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you can't do anything else, back off. That's it. If you can't handle it, walk away. Yeah, that's it. Walk Just back away. back off and take a deep breath and realign. Leave it. Yeah. That's basically it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't get involved. Don't put your dukes up. Don't. That, no, you can't. Absolutely not. Yeah, because not, that's not in this time. No. <laughs> <laughs> you may have done that before, forty years ago, yeah. but now you cannot do that. You will not. You will not get what you your result you want. Mm -hmm. Wow, this was quite a session. Quite a session, yeah, and the energy that was coming through my hand and up. Because I, I, I do like an antenna. Do you? Yeah, that's how I do it. You know, it's mm -hmm. not going into me. It's going right out. And I was my, my hand was like <laughs> buzzing. It was like really strange. <laughs> it was coming oh my through my goodness. hand. It was just like. Phew. Oh, gee. it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So let's see. What do we got here? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So jo share. What are you oh. seeing? What are you seeing? <laughs> She's got my hand. Okay. Yeah, I see. You have a choice mm -hmm. here at this point in your life. Mm -hmm. And but you're not there yet. How how old is your body? Sixty one. Okay. So you're close. <laughs> and um, your destiny is related directly to your lifeline, so you are very close to a major decision. Right mm -hmm. there is your major decision. And that's what your higher self said. Yes. I've got a big door in front of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I saw that. It's like uh, you, uh, uh, you, know, you open a door to space, mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's no stairs, big step there. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw stars, oh. and I saw you. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And you were making your first step out the door. Wow. Good thing I'm, uh, I've done skydiving before, <laughs> so that doesn't scare me. <laughs> it all, it, I tell you, that vision almost scared me. Really? Yes, it was so I, vast. I, I, yeah, and I saw you, and you were just as happy as you could be. <laughs> In a in a plane, you would say door, and, <laughs> and you would jump out. <laughs> kind of like. Yeah, yeah. Good thing I have that experience. So uh, it was great having this session with you. Okay. It really was. It was a pleasure. Okay. And uh, do you recommend this to other folks out there? Indeed. I'm going to tell my brother, mm. see what he says. I, I kind of doubt. He's too closed down. But <laughs> I will tell him. Good, good. Yeah. So if you would like a session with me, you can go to my website, albaweinman.com. Okay. Uh, you can go to the Out of pa Town page and sign up for my newsletter. I do travel all over the world and right now we are in Los Angeles. Okay. 
So and you are going to be booked all the way through halfway through 2018. That's right. Okay. That's right. So as soon as I open up my calendar, I release it on my newsletter, and there are links there. You just click on it and click on it immediately because they get booked up within minutes. Right. Right. Right now we're going about. Uh, we have quite a few thousand on my mailing I list. I imagine. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's got to be fast. Uh -huh. So thank you for watching. I hope I get to meet you someday soon and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Bye. Can I get that hug? Okay. Everybody gets a hug. Okay. Ooh.